Government 2305, Introduction to Federal Government, Module 2.03, The Declaration of Independence. After completing this module, you'll be able to explain why the colonists revolted as well as develop an academic understanding. The Second Continental Congress, which met in May 1775, faced the job of declaring independence, mobilizing an army, organizing a government, and rallying the 13 colonies which were very different from each other around a single cause. A year later, on July 4, 1776, the Congress voted to adopt a Declaration of Independence as a statement to the world of America's purpose. The document has two parts. A statement of principle and a list of grievances. In one elegant paragraph, the Declaration of Independence distills America's political philosophy into five towering ideals. All people are equal. Their creator endowed them with rights that cannot be taken away. These rights include life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. People form governments to protect those rights and governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. These ideas were not new. Political philosophers, especially the English thinker John Locke, had used similar language. In his two treatises of government, published more than a century earlier, Locke argued that in nature there are no rules. Life is ruled by force and violence. To secure safety and freedom, people contract with one another, enter into civil society, and form governments to protect one another's life, liberty, and property. As a statement of governing ideals, the Declaration of Independence was, and still is, breathtaking. In 1776, it was also a far cry from reality. Thomas Jefferson, who drafted much of the document, was a slave owner. The Declaration essentially invites future cruelty when it refers to merciless Indian savages. Its authors did not live up to the no their noble statements. We do not fully live up to them today. Even so, the document stands as the greatest statement of American idealism, something every generation can fight for. In a law professor's recent phrase, the Declaration was the U.S.'s political fountainhead underpinning both the Articles of Confederation and the constitutional forms of government. The second part of the Declaration lists 27 grievances against King George III. These tell us what the American colonists cared about as they began the revolution. Three complaints dominate the list violations of the right of representation this complete com the complaint comes up in 10 of the 27 charges against england and it is by far the most intensely felt grievance a standing army not under civilian control in particular british soldiers acted in peacetime without the consent of the american legislatures five complaints are about the british military Loss of an independent court. This violation of traditional justice comes up six times. Today, the revolution is often boiled down to the colonist slogan, no taxation without representation. The declaration emphasized representation much more than taxation. Taxes 
did not show up until way down the list as a grievance number 17, imposing taxes on us without our consent. Of course, many of the acts that precipitated the revolution, from new taxes to tighter trade rules, were economic challenges. But what reverberates through the Declaration are the rights of representation. So let's review. In 1775 and 1776, the Second Continental Congress met to declare independence, mobilize an army, organize government, rally the 13 colonies around a single cause, and the writers of the Declaration, led by Thomas Jefferson, used the philosophical writings of John Locke and others as they wrote this new document. The Declaration of Independence was written with two distinct parts. The first part of the Declaration features five ideals that sum up the nation's political principles, including equity or equality, God-given rights, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, a justification for forming a new government, and the recognition that their new government would derive its powers from the people. The second part of the Declaration lists 27 grievances against the king and his government that led to the break.